you have a local area network and in your LAN you have two types of users. You have the orthodox versus the unorthodox. You also have a 40 gig firewall which is connected to one ISP only. That is only one WAN interface is connected towards the internet. Now you wish to implement a security profile that will make sure that the unorthodox will navigate to any site and the orthodox will only navigate to safe site. That is without pornography, without gambling, without drugs and so on. So how do you do it using only one policy? Coming up. All right, so let's start. Now, if you think about it, the solution is very simple and there's nothing really sophisticated with the way that I'm doing it. There are many ways to do so. If you have two one interfaces, you can route each group to another uh, one interface. If you're using uh, two policies, then you can, of course, use each policy with, the own, with its own user group. There are many ways to do so. We will do that using one policy. So let's start by creating the two groups. So we have one group, which is the orthodox. And in this group, we will uh, add up one user. All right. And the second user group, the unorthodox. And the second user will be at the second group. So we have two groups, the orthodox and the unorthodox. And we also have a full access policy um, getting from our LAN interface towards the ISP. And we will implement the security profile as a web filter profile. So let's create one security profile web filter create new and the um, filter name will be block um, block content and that uh, security profile will actually block uh, sites with drug abuse uh, with illegal or unethical uh, content um, explicit violence. We want to keep our orthodox users safe. Um, let's look child abuse, of course, and so on. All right. Now, once we have our security profile ready with the different categories, the next thing that we will do, let's just apply that. The next thing that we will do is web profile override. Now here we can choose the orthodox group and that group will actually move towards the default security profile which has no limitations. So we will use user group. Let's choose the orthodox. Let's choose the original profile which is block content. There it is. And we will actually move them or override their profile to the default profile which is which has no limitation we can also add up the expiry date so we can just set that to any date we want all right let's now move to our policy and the object full access let's add up the two groups the orthodox and the unorthodox. So these two will actually move through our firewall policy. We will add up the block content profile and let's just apply that. All right, now since we're using two user group, the orthodox and the unorthodox, any traffic that will move between uh, this firewall policy will have to face the new security profile, which is block content, but the orthodox will actually be overrided to another profile, which is the default profile with no limitations.